Well, Gary, I sense a, a fair bit of frustration today, but I mean, to, to begin with, you started with a back four and, and you started with Shanley and Robertson in, in terms of a partnership up front and just, you know, talk us through, first of all, you know, the formation and how you felt that they played in the first half. No, well, yeah, listen, we, we were trying to respond for last week and uh, we felt that playing with a front two was the best way to go about it. And I have to be honest, I thought the two of them, especially in the first half, were excellent. I thought they caused four for all sorts of problems, getting in behind, linking up. And um, the performance was really, really good. Understandably, around about the 60 minutes, you know, they started to tire a little bit because Ryan's had COVID and he's not played many games in the close season due to one thing or another. And John's the same, you know, he's done plenty of training, but he's not played many games. So I think, you know, when, when their um, fitness levels dipped a little bit, similar applied to the team when we couldn't get in behind and have that threat again. Um, but, you know, the two of them, the, their effort and f for the team, for Marcel, was there for all to see. Um, and it was actually that I had to make the decision to take one of them off just to try and make sure that they weren't going to pull injury muscles or anything like that, looking further afield. Disappointed three minutes in that we, you know, we lose a cheap goal from a, from a, you know, a, a low-driven ball. I, it's listen, every goal's preventable, but there was a bit of bad luck there as well. You know what I mean? They they, they put a cross in, um, both Scott Ricci and I think it was Scott Shepherd had fresh air kicks, and Lewis was going to block it, and Lewis slipped, and it, it meant that the boy Aitken was in the middle of the goals he sell, but. Credit to the players because they responded in the right way. Last week when we lost an early goal against Albion, I didn't feel there was a response until the second half. I think in the first half, we put that behind us. We tried to get back into the game and I think, just speaking to Jamie there, I think in the first half we had 10 efforts at goal alone. So what I said to the players after the game was, you never know what, what stage of the game you're going to be in top of or when your spell is, but when you have that spell, you've got to make sure that you put the ball in the back of the net. And unfortunately for us, our main spell in the game was in the first half and we, and we never converted one of the chances that we created, which is disappointing. You felt like there could have been a bigger reaction after the penalty miss because if we go 2-0 down, you know, that's... that's a yeah, but I found, it, I found it, again, for the lads, I found it unbelievable that we were staring at a chance of being 2-0 down and how we had played in the first half. I thought, in the f listen, I think you said to me earlier, it could have been 3-2-3 all at the first half. But I just found it incredible that we had a chance that we were maybe going to be potentially 2-0 down. And you know the lads did bounce a wee bit for that again, and we got a wee bounce again. But as I say, coming at the half time, we felt that if we kept doing what we were going to do, we would get another chance. We get but if I'm being honest, the second half, the disruptions, the injury to Goody, Brian having to go, it played into Forfar's hands. The stoppages, we couldn't get any build up of play going. And as I've already spoke about, when um, when um, Ryan and John started to, I would say tired. Yeah, when they were starting to tire, a lackey game time caught up in them, you know, it affected us as a team and, and we didn't carry the same attacking threat for the remainder of the last 20 minutes or so, you know, and, and on the bench you can see that and we're trying to change it uh, and, you know, we changed the personnel a couple of times and we changed the formation a couple of times but we just couldn't get that spark to get us going again for the last 20 minutes, um, but we can't feel sorry for ourselves, you know, we need, to, we need to focus on the things we can improve on, the things that we've done well and we need to try and get a result on Friday against the House Muir. Going back to Ryan, good fellow keeper got injured. Can you just give us a quick update? Yeah, listen, he didn't want to come off, but for the good of the team, I took him off, and it was the right decision. You know, he's struggling to walk just now. His ankle's up like a balloon, and then Brian comes on and he goes for his first punch, and the boy clobbers him, and he could potentially be needing stitches on his face or his nose as well. So things like that are happening just now. You know, two goalies getting injured in the same game. The thing with the referee last week, another stoppage. It's just, yeah. as it say, listen, it's no, it's no, it's no all bad luck or that, but things just only going for us just now. And you, you, there's only one of two ways you can go. You can either feel sorry for yourself and go into your shell, or you come to training, you work hard and you work through it. And that's what we've got to do. Changes it slightly, Hilton came on, you went to a back three, and it was a case of just... Yeah, we never at the start, we never at the start. Jinky just came on and we, 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 we wanted to try and get another attacking player on the pitch. The reason we took Danny Jardin off was he was on a booking. I didn't want them breaking away, he makes another booking and he gets sent off. So we just simply took Danny off because he was on a booking put Callum Crane in there, who's played there numerous times in his career, to try and get Jinky on. When we felt that wasn't working for the last five or ten minutes, then we went to a back three, just to, again, to try and get more people further up the pitch. But sometimes, when you make changes, you do it for the right reasons, but it actually it doesn't work, and you know, it didn't work. The, 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 the couple of changes today in terms of the shape never worked. So, um, but 
you know, I would much rather try and change it when I know it's not, the game's not going for us how I want it to go than sit back and just hope that something works or comes out of thin air. So I made the decision to change it. Numerous times last season I made it and it, and it got us back into the game. This time it didn't work, so, you know, that, that falls on me. Okay, thanks very much, Gary. Cheers.